Contact improvisation, it's not about a learned skill, even if there is technique. And you don't know what's going to happen next. It just gives you, it's not good anxiety, it's like exciting. It's more about feeling than the more magic. My name is T. Kwa. My name is Liv. We were selected to do a demo of contact improvisation, which is a style of dancing that involves at least two people moving in synergy with emotion and music. It's been a long while, I don't recall this memory, but I just did of the very first time we danced. It was at a workshop and we were just flowing in the room. I don't know, we just kept doing, 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 and it was really acrobatic. And both of us were like, wow. Chemistry is, is the foundation of creating a beautiful connection on a dance floor. And there's people where I would love to dance with, and when I try, there's no chemistry. Um, because it's improvisation, and you don't know what's going to happen next. It just gives you some sort of... I would say it's a good anxiety. It's like exciting, you know, this a little bit of rush, but it's generally very chill, very mellow. I need a partner who can trust me, so who can surrender to me. For sure I have skill and I have weakness. And for Liv, she definitely needs trust. Even if she's small, it's natural for other people that dance with her that they want they feel comfortable to live her, but it, if there's no chemistry and trust, then either it's dangerous for her first, and there's no fluidity. But when there's surrender from her and trust toward me, then even with limited amount of skill, we would melt together and it would happen. For me, it's not that hard to trust other people to dance, to lift me, to spin with. But with T, I guess because he's also very confident, always with me or whatever, it's just um, really easy to dance with, really comfortable. Yeah, I feel like we can express um, our feelings together pretty well for some reason. And gaining more technique, just now makes things more beautiful, but I guess it makes it easier for us to express more feelings through dance. But even at the beginning, without any skill, without knowing what we're doing, it was already amazing to experience dancing together and for other people to observe us. It was already magic. As for me, even if I was born in Thailand and I look Asian, I never felt that my roots were necessarily in Asia, even if it's until I arrived in Thailand two years ago. And even if technically I'm back in my native country, I feel that I'm back to my root not because I'm in Thailand, but because of this community. This community resonate much deeper than my cultural root, but more to my soul root. Currently, I am trying to explore my talent within dance. About my identity, I do feel really Brazilian, and that's, that's my, my root. I feel like I felt more Japanese here now in Asia, because people often think that I am Japanese. But because of my passion to dance, I do want to pursue these two cultures and their dance aspects. Yeah, because it's, it's part of my identity. It's a really special community, I feel. So I met a lot of people who taught me a lot um, and opened my perspective to deeper layers of dancing and connecting feelings to dance. And for some reason, all those old passion died out just like a fire and the fire of dancing came into my life and that's what's nourishing me right now.